Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to another bit of enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad, if you're A333, and we're on to Lothric Castle. Or rather, we're on to depositing the basin, at which point we will access Lothric Castle, which is pretty much the final area, or just about the final area. There's another area immediately afterwards, but essentially, the Lothric Castle Grand Archives pair, that's it. Once that's done, we, we fight the final boss, and that's base game. Of course, there's still two DLCs that will follow, of course. For now, though, a knight statue somehow beheading itself and bleeding into a bowl, because that's how we open the path to a castle. It's an interesting defensive mechanism, to say the least. So yeah, now that's out of the way. We get a ladder. Now, I'm going to be starting out going down, because there's a lot of little things that actually make me have just made a major error, because Lothar Castle will not, in fact, be the final area. Grand Archives will be, but I'm actually going to be taking a bit of a detour down some of the optional areas, which you get to through the lower section of Lothric Castle, specifically the Consume King's Garden. You get there, and that gives you access to our Dragon Peak, and it itself is kind of a hidden area, and there's other stuff beyond that as well. So Consume King's Garden, that's where we're going first, which is over this way. Man, is a bit of a tricky space, but hey, it exists. Soul of a Weary Warrior, and Baronic Knight? No. Whatever these things are. Oh. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't shield bash me. Ow, what? Yeah, kick. Kick! There we go! Got the kicks. Got. Oh, wow, that's not much damage. I mean, thankfully, it's only one enemy, but still. That is not much damage. Okay, or you can just do that, and then I can stab you in the back and get even more HP back. I'm fine with either one. It's It was really up to you, and I'm going to completely respect your decision. That's how you want me to kill you? That's how I'll kill you. I'm nice that way. I mean, it may seem like I'm a complete monster because I'm going around killing things without, you know, asking them first. Which, really, all things considered, is kind of rude, I must admit. But, as long as they get to choose the manner in which I kill them... I figured that I'm at least doing them something of a service. Alright, so this was here. And there was another... Th oh, there was not. Really? Oh. I seem to recall there being a thing I could jump to over here, but apparently I was wrong. Also, those things! Remember those things? The bus of man. Yeah, we get to see those again. Anyway, I can't remember if this is poison. Yes, it is. Yes, it very much so is. But that's fine. The important thing is to have a have fire bombs. Having a set of fire bombs means you can attack them, and then they can't really strike back. Oh boy. Also, I suppose I have the dancer's blades, which do a similar thing. Oh boy. Et, et, there we go. Backstab again. More HP healing. Actually, given the circumstances, I might want to just... Wait, that was... Was that one of those guys? They're not up here. Good. Double kick and stab again. That seems to be the way to go with these things. And now, just to finish you off, get more HP. Oh, Cathedral Knight. Right, why do I think Baronique Knight? That's Dark Souls 1. Not sure I had that on the brain. Anyway, more importantly, is the point where fire comes in handy. Namely now. Ow. You're not supposed to hit me first. Oh, crap. Okay, this is bad. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. I'm less confident in how okay I am. I cannot see. I do not like the fact that I cannot see. I might die. I sincerely hope I don't die. Because this is actually where I meant to use the firebombs in the first place, was to stop them from moving so I could do this and keep stunning it with fire. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong thing. I think of something else. There's another enemy I can stun with fire. It's not this one. I mean, it is this one, but not, not as a continuous thing. Okay. Just die, please. Thank you. Really appreciate it. You have no idea. Okay. Large Titanite Shard. 
I do have blooming moss combs, right? Yes, I do. Okay, good. I'm gonna need them. Ah, come on. I mean, my old tactic of just kill things in order to get my stuff back, or get my HP back, probably still a good idea. Ooh, shadow stuff. Not sure if we're gonna use it, but hey, shadow stuff. I okay. I'm kind of done down here. So, Blooming Purple Moss Clump it is. Stop. Stop the poison. Anyway, with that taken care of, that leaves, I think, just the one last little gauntlet, which is still actually kind of substantial. Also, there's this thing. Please don't poison human pine resin. Well, that was not worth it. The risk did not justify the reward. Oh, what? What are you? I don't know why you're here. Were here. I don't know why you were there. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, eh, sure, why not? Gets me more HP. Now, is there anything more to grab? Yes, there is. Whatever this is, which is a dark gem. I'm guessing this is a dark area. I mean, it's pretty clear. That's all the items. The items are dark stuff. Dark gems. Human pine resin. Uh, okay, that's about it, because everything else is, like, generic Titanite stuff. Granted, I could really use some generic Titanite stuff right about now. Okay, that is pointless. Right next to it, however, is a shortcut. Or at least should be a shortcut. Yes, it is. Okay. Good. I can't remember what it's a shortcut to, though. I feel like it's a shortcut to just more danger. But hey, it's a shortcut. It, for a given value of short. Oh, actually, no. This is This is a good shortcut. I mean, it's not a great shortcut. I have to go through a few enemies in the process, but it's a its a darn sight better than going through all that again. It's just a couple thralls, which I have mentioned before in the past, and I stand by. They're the hardest enemies in the game. Especially when they're being buffed by something that increases their attack damage. Yeah. yeah. Darn it. Okay, you're a pain in the butt. Ah... Uh. You especially are a pain in the butt. Why am I using this weapon? Honestly, I'm not sure why I'm using this weapon. It's not fast enough. I need to use the daggers. Oh, can I backstab you? Can I backstab you? Yes, I can! There we go. Even more HP. It's always nice when we don't have to use Estus to get through an area. Yeah. 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 And you. Which will get me more HP back from damage. From attacking you six times in quick succession. Huzzah! We have gotten a shortcut. Which I believe actually does lead me back to where I started. And that is good. Let's see. This is indeed where I wanted to go. Awesome! So I have five Estus left. And I'm fairly certain the next area is actually a boss fight. So well, let's just, in the sake of prudence... Also, double check how many souls I have, 10,000. Not particularly significant. But, in the interest of prudence, might as well just get this done. Also, I actually have to get an Estus Shrine used. So, there's that too. You know, I, Oh yeah, also this. I was thinking about leaving for another round of thieving. There must be something of use in Lothric Castle. I, I'm aware of the danger. That castle is a death trap. That's fine. But I don't want to sit around and die a petty rat. And I consider myself your friend. Thank you for placing your trust in me. <laughs> don't you worry. I know Lothric like the back of my hand. <laughs> He's gonna die. Like, I mean, I don't mean to be too much of a downer, but he is going to die. So I should double check to make sure that I don't need anything off of him until I find his ashes somewhere up in the upper Lothar castle area. Mm. Nope. Well, hmm. I'll grab these and these just to have something that's decent, like a bit of a wider range of weights for pieces of armor that I'm likely to change into. But otherwise... Nice knowing you, Grey Rat. Oh, actually, I should probably grab several more of these. Just, like, all the firebombs in the Goodbye. world, because clearly I need them. And, okay, 10,000 souls might have been a little bit much. But hey, that's a lot of firebombs. Might as well just spend it on them. So now that we have the shortcut, 
this should be a bit easier. Actually, I couldn't think of it. I should probably double check that I can actually use the things I just got, because I just got them. And the answer is they would actually be kind of nice, but no, unless I change out a few things, which might work okay. Night gauntlets are likely to be too heavy. Oh yeah, way too heavy. I mean, I need to cons see what I can do to actually cut down on my gauntlets, but... I feel like this is actually better to have the way I had it before, where this was just not great leggings, but otherwise okay everything else. See, 1916, 1922, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe it's actually better to do it. No, I think the way I had it before. Yeah. Bit of a shame, but yeah, actually, no, 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 mirror gloves, mirror gloves are better. Mirror gloves are giving me a bit more of an even setup, except I think they didn't do... Nope, they do everything pretty well. Awesome. So, that is that. I My armor is slightly better set up, even though everything I just spent my money on was of no use. Oh well. It happens. And now this is why this shortcut's a shortcut. Because I can do this. I don't have to worry about much else. Oh, except maybe one of these guys. What the heck did you do? I mean, it doesn't really matter, because now I've just, you know, killed you. But, oh, seriously? I'm gonna have to backstab you. I need my HP back. Thank you. Okay, well, that was that. I know there's one other place I can go, like, kind of halfway down. Another halfway down thing. And that actually gets me, essentially, another shortcut to the boss. There it is. It's kind of a weird setup, but yeah. Go through here. Then I have another Cathedral Knight or two to fight. Ooh, Dragon Scale Ring. What does that do? Dragon Scale Ring reduces damage from backstabs. Well, handy. But not really in PvP. Or PvE. That's a PvP thing only. Okay, so there's two Cathedral Knights. And I don't think there's much else if I go back here. Yeah, that's right. Because if I go over here, this leads me to where I came from. And the Cathedral Knights are here. And they're honestly kind of a pain in the butt. Did I need to pick up anything on this area? I don't really recall having to do so. But... No, looks like no. Just boss fight. Just a big old mean boss fight that everybody hates. Yeah. That, nope, no you don't. So yeah, this is the boss fight. Way earlier than I expected, actually. I forgot the Consume King Garden was as small as it was. Oh yeah, this is... This is Cyrus. Ah, you ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Pain in the butt. Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well, I will not give him up. Not he sure it's holding that. Alright. I mean, we're assuming that it's not an invisible baby. I really don't know. Like, I always assumed it's delusional, but then it occurred to me that you have someone like Priscilla, and Priscilla is one of those characters that's part dragon and invisible. So, you know, invisible dragons are not new in Dark Souls. I mean, let's be totally honest here. Ah, dear little Ocelot. Where have you gone? Oh, right, that's bad. That's very bad. Me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. Oh, wait, this is going to be interesting. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Okay, so there's magic coming at me, and... Then this happens. Okay, we're in the final stage of the fight. See, this is why I wanted to use the daggers, because... This fight is a fight that's very difficult to fight unless you are fighting on reaction. Otherwise, like, good luck. 
There's a lot of weird things that are difficult to predict. Also, since way ahead of curve, I might as well take advantage of that fact. Like that. That's a thing which... The dodge timing is a pain in the ass to figure out. But... Back step, or side step, whatever it's called. Oh, I'm missing the... I'm missing the big attacks that would give me loads of damage. Ow. Okay, you're... Why can't I get... Okay, the critical attack... Oh, right, I'm not using the right button for criticals. That's why. Okay, there we go. Only a little bit further. Okay. Just need to get one or two good more hits. I think should be able to manage. There we go. Dodge the last attack. It's going to... Ow. Second to last attack. It's going to be a problem. And... There we go! Ocelot in, or Osiris in one. Which, I'm actually rather impressed with myself by because, wow, is Osiris a pain in the butt to fight. If you don't have, like, the daggers basically carried that fight for me. So yeah, that was Osiris. And that was a remarkably straightforward boss fight. Anyway, I have souls to spend. So, there's stuff after this. But first, we should see what Osiris has to offer, because they had sorceries. Uh -huh. I think. Ooh, white dragon breath. Oh, 50 intelligence. Yeesh. I mean, I don't expect to get 50 intelligence. Or Moonlight Greatsword, which, while it is an int-based weapon, it's also a greatsword. I'm not going for greatswords, but... Ah. But it's an int-based weapon, but I'm not going for it, so... Yeah. Nah. Sorry about that. And now to the next bit of stuff, which I actually alluded to in the very first episode. But now we get to see it 18 episodes later. It is... Well, okay, actually, this area is not really the important area. This area is just kind of a neat little bit of dragons. Dragons everywhere. And this guy. It actually makes a lot more sense to me now as an enemy, now that I've been to Arch Dragon Peak. Where is... Oh, right. I'm not using the side step. The quick step, whatever. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Got damaged. So, actually, I want to have the other one because I am going to need that in a sec. Path of the Dragon. That is the gesture we need to get to Arch Dragon Peak, which we will get to. But first. No, that's perfectly valid. Titanite scale, which is wonderful. And this is what I was talking about. Look familiar? It actually shouldn't right now, because I never went to- I went to this area, like, once, but... Or this exact part of it. But it will in a sec. Because... We are in... The Cemetery of Ash! Kind of. At some different point in time. Also Corvians. Not sure why they're worshipping this thing. Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that to be survived. Okay. We're doing this double dagger style. What the heck? Okay, I gotta be careful here. Ha! Ha! Dip! Bag and road of sacrifices all over again. I mean, I wasn't... Like, I didn't have the hardest time dealing with them, but still. An Ash Nestus ring. Which is nice. It improves the amount of MP healed by using Ash Nestus. Never a bad thing. But yeah, I forgot this area was actually as secret as it was. I mean, you have to be Osiris, and they have to, you know, deal with opening a secret wall. Which isn't necessarily the most obvious thing in the world. Oh, wow, I... Okay, hang on. Need to use the big... No ah! Yeah, see, those are the things I was worried about. Why I had the parrying dagger up. And I guess I still do, actually. Ah. Oh, good. They have no friends. What? How did that not count as parry? Okay, well, I mean, plan B is, of course, not to bother parrying. And just to, you know, backstep around them. Or not backstep, side, it's quick step. 
around them. Ugh, these are so annoying when it comes to actual damage dealt. Ah, uh, what? How did you get here? Ugh. I do not know what the routes are. I assume that the one was going to come in way later than it did, which actually kind of pisses me off. I had a good one-on-one -on -one going. You didn't have to break it up, you jerk. A nice little duel of dual blades, and you ruined it. Okay. They're not going to go for the dogs yet, because those cause problems, and as established, it's just easier to get these things directly, because they're also... They stagger. Okay. Ah, would you just die already? Okay, there we go. Not ideal, but it works. Ay, this... I do not like fighting these enemies. I mean, I've already mentioned dogs are a bit of a pain in these games. Because they're very difficult to stagger and just get out of your way. But the grave tenders... Oh boy, the grave tenders. They are the pains in the butt to end all pains in the butt. Ah, would you seriously? I'm backstabbing you. Ah, dip. Okay, there we go. Now I got the lockdown. Seriously, I don't get the lockdown? Fine. I still get the damage. I still get the kill. I still don't use too much of my Estus to do so... Seriously? Okay, I can get you now. I can get you now! Or I can use this. I do not like dogs. I don't like dogs! Sorry! All you dog people out there. Not my kind of animal. Ah! Especially not like this. Especially not when they're killing me! I. I still have two titanite- two large titanite lizards to fight. So, I'm not exactly thrilled about losing all that Estus. Alright. And here they are. I can't remember if I have to fight them at once. No, apparently I don't. Good. At least I don't think I do. I might be wrong. It might be coming right behind there. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay. Fighting both at once. At least I can use the critical attacks on them, but... Okay. Some amount of separation. Ow! I can't see! It's the only things that generate any kind of light in this area. I mean, I guess... I'm glad they're somewhat bioluminescent. It's just blinding. Ow! This hurts. Uh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Aha, I got one of them. Okay, not that it helped me in terms of healing, but hey, I got one of them. And I got more Titanus, because actually I think I'm enough to upgrade this weapon fully. I might, once I, de yeah, once I de deal with this fight, I think that'll should be enough to deal with this whole thing. I can upgrade the, the Dancer's Blades to maximum. Yes! I just need to kill this thing first. Because, obviously, it, it won't drop anything if it's still alive. That's rather how the whole thing works. Ow. Man, I remember when I first fought this with this character. It like, took me like two or three tries to actually get through and I... Oh, I had... I had critical attacks I could have taken. But yeah, it took me two or three tries to get through them, and... Boy, I don't know why it, took, it was so difficult, but it was. This time around, though, managed to get both in one. I mean, with some trouble, but still, did manage. I will take that win. I will not let it go by the wayside. It was an accomplishment that I did. I managed to beat both of them, and that worked out. Okay. Hopefully there's a bonfire up here, just like in the original Cemetery of Ash, because... Oh, no, there isn't. Whoa. I think there's more grave tenders. Oh, no, there's not. There's just more of these guys. Okay, never mind. What? Ah. Wow, they're not as buffed up as I thought they would be. Are there more grave tenders? No, these guys are still there. Just like they used to be. I mean, 
I'll grant, I practice parrying on these enemies, but one thing I learned from practicing parrying on these enemies is that these enemies are not easy to parry. Hence, why I'm not actually going through all that much effort to parry them. More just trying to dodge around them, backstab them, get the healing from the critical attacks that way. Because even with a parrying dagger, which admittedly I didn't have the first time around, these enemies are not easy to parry. Oh, I don't need to jump. I mean, I can to avoid taking fall damage, which I will, successfully. Yeah, yeah, ha! Was I gonna get backstabbed? I wonder if I was gonna get backstabbed. I kinda hope not. <sighs> ha! Okay. There's none down here. There's crossbow wielder. There's spear wielder. Crossbow wielder gets a knife in the back. Spear wielder might get a knife in the back. But first, dagger wielder gets a knife in the back. Because too many people want knives in the back, and I can only have one knife, or possibly two, but you each only have one back. And there's only one of me. I can only do so much. <sighs> Darn it. Okay, there we go. Okay, I didn't... Why did I kick them in the back? There's no back kick mechanic. That was kind of a waste. Wait, was that not a bonfire? That, was that... Oh. That wasn't a bonfire. That was just torches. Brilliant. So I have two Estus to fight a boss that makes makes Osiris not look that great. I mean, granted, I made Osiris look like a complete chump. I'll grant that. But, yeah. Okay, well, that's really annoying. So much for my assumption that was a bonfire there. At this point, I am just considering going back and then having to deal with the Grave Tenders. And hey, at least again get another level. Ooh, that was... I'm proud of myself for that one. I dodged right through that attack. But yeah, it looks like I'm gonna just have to do a run back. Like a true run. Hope for the best. And there's the run back. Well, I mean, the run back before you even get to the fight, but... Might as well get prepared. It is going to be tricky. Okay, so I think I can just do a bunch of damage before this even gets going. Ah. I mean, the problem with Champion Gundir is an attack he does in the seconds to out. Okay, there's the grab too. But the main problem is the attack he does in the second stage where he does this big charge. Okay, good. I missed the main problem with that. Okay, I'm getting way careless here. This attack! Okay, cool. I can deal with it now. Sort of. Wow, I- No! Shoot! No! Uh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay, cool. Why does Estus- Oh! I hate Estus heal times. Why does it take so long for me to heal? I could have got that in one. I avoided the main attack that was going to cause me problems, and then I didn't survive. I'm very disappointed in myself. Okay, well, I'm not invading another world, apparently. Okay, let's get magic weapon up. There we go. Get some hits in as oh ow! Right, the kick. What? Oh, I thought I was out of the way. Okay, well. Ah. Darn it. I think I can parry him, but I really would rather not try at the moment. I have no comments on my ability to parry. Ah. What the? And besides, dodging is working fine. Ah, I say that as I get hit by a really tough attack, but whatever. There we go. Oh, darn it. 
There we go. That was the kick I was having problems with. My, what the heck? Would you lay off? Okay. Ah! Darn it. I'm surprised they haven't staggered yet. I, mean, I remember Unix gun nearby now would have staggered. I could have visceraled them and. or er, visceral critical. Actually, I could have just hit them for a bunch of damage. Ow. That was mistimed. I mean, it's not like I can't time my rolls properly. It's just easier not to have to. I'm just noticing right now I. Ow! Shoot, that was the attack I didn't want to get. What? I was. What the hell, game? I was getting up! What? Why did you let him not kill me then? <sighs> Damn it, FromSoft. Make it clear. If something kills me, have it kill me. Don't give me false hope. Seriously? Oh crap, I'm out of magic. Uh. Okay, now I can dodge again. Oh shit. Stupid controls. Item management is such a pain in the butt sometimes. Shoot. Okay, one more. One more good set and I can do this. Ah. There we go! Three tries! Okay. Ah. Wasn't sure if that'd be it, and I had to take some serious time, because... Oh boy, is that a tough fight. I mean, as much as Osiris was rendered trivial by that strategy of just sidestep with daggers, jamming Gundir remains kinda tricky. And we're not done yet, either. And for one thing, I got souls. Oh, right, and I gotta check the soul as well. I can't remember... I think Prisoner's Chain is on Champion Gun Deer, which means I'm probably going to take it. Uh -huh. It's nice to have that one. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, the Halberd and Prisoner's Chain, so that uh -huh. could be of some use. So there's one last bit to take care of, because obviously, after Cemetery of Ash, there was Firelink Shrine, which means naturally, following the untended graves, you'd have a giant door, and...
and you find yourself, once again, to the entrance of Firelink Shrine. Main difference this time, though, is the enemies. Unlike with the Untended Graves, where basically everything followed the Cemetery of Ash, but for the, the really annoying grave tenders, here, it's different. It's remarkably different, in fact, and rather challenging. In fact, so much so that I'm going to just magic weapon up before we even get into this, because it just, it'll help. Because here, we have Black Knights. Ow. Lots of Black Knights. If I can parry, there we go. Then I can deal with them fairly effectively. But I need to be able to parry first. Oh, darn it. Why are there multiples of you? I want to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Is that so hard? Apparently you're jerks. Don't respect an honorable duel. I don't like you. All right, well, I got to get back out of here because I... Crap. Oh, I was almost there. Oh, I was about to backstab them. Why'd you stop me from backstabbing them, you jerk? Ah. Okay, good. That's one down. I'm back to one-on-one. -on -one. You can deal with this. Like civilized people. I... Well, moderately civilized people. Ugh! Stupid delayed attacks. I don't like your delayed attacks. Don't delay your attacks. Bad. It's bad form pugilism. Okay, can you please just let me do something big and flashy to you? Let me hit you hard. You're not doing what I want you to do. Thank you! Finally! Sheesh, took you long enough to cooperate. Why is that not a backstab again? Someone remind me why that does not count as a backstab. Ah! Okay, there we go. Sheesh, that was way more resource intensive than it had any right to be. And I should point out, these Black Knights do not stay dead. They, re they will respawn. So, I got three S's to take care of the rest of the Black Knights. Granted, I don't think I have to take care of all of them. But yeah, the rest of the Black Knights. So I'm not really keen on that. I haven't got much choice, it's just... Annoying. At least this one's not as much of a pain in the butt as their sword-wielding brethren. Oh, can I back that? Yes, I can! Okay, good. Oh, over the edge. Even better. Only 2,000 each? Wow. Also, Hornet Ring. That is the ring that improves the counterattack, or thrust attacks. No, it's counterattacks. What, what am I saying? The Leo Ring was thrust attacks. Hornet Ring, critical attack! Oh! Oh, that is tempting. Oh. Mm. I don't know. I mean, on the one hand, it's nice. On the other hand, I don't use critical attacks that much. I mean, I kind of do. I don't feel like I use them all that much. Anyway, is there a bonfire here? No, there isn't. There is, however, the replacement of all homeward bones, the coiled sword fragment. So now, I don't need these... I can replace him with Cold Sword Fragment and never have to use Homeward Bones again. Also, Merchant Lady. Hi, Merchant Lady. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? Let's see, what can you provide me? Priestess Ring. Okay, I don't need Faith. And that's Artorius's armor. Which, okay, I'm not doing, like, it was once relevant. All that was once relevant. To skirt the curse's grasp, tarry not for long, tis dark for now, and yep. not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already, like the poor girl. <laughs> to skirt oh, it, yeah. best not... <laughs> All right, so yeah, and here's Andre's thing. I was like, I'm really not sure if this is past or future. It is time shifted. I just don't know if it's the past or the future of Firelink Shrine, because on the one hand you get that, but on the other hand, nothing else seems to really line up with that. 
idea. All of that. Actually, no, maybe it does, because that's where Yol was. Yeah, I guess it is the future. Because that would be Yol's ashes, most likely. I mean, it'd be right here. The last of Hall of Faith, they served a woman, only to become separated from her with... Yeah, okay. These guys easily envision Londor. Yeah, so that's Yol's ashes. Okay, so no, this is the future. Which means that with the next thing I do, I'm actually constructing a stable time loop. Which is... Oh, come on. There it is. Which is to go down here and pick up this item here. Which, look carefully at the corpse there once I take it off. Eyes of a Firekeeper. I'm pretty sure this is our Firekeeper. Just way, way, way in the future. However, these eyes are for her. Her dark eyes. So she lost eyes the first Firekeeper. And let all Firekeepers come. You'll sight the Firekeeper's things they should never see. Okay, so that's... The thing is, that is something which the Firekeeper we have... Can have. So yeah, stable time loop. Fully consistent, or at least causally consistent time travel. Also, Lilith, I think, is here. Or no. Oh, no, this is way later. This would be after we beat the game. Like, way after we beat the game. Like, after I fight the final boss, way later in the future, that's when this is. Because none of the Ash, none of the Sin Lords of Cinder are there. And, yeah, they aren't there when you finish off everything. The Shrine Handmaid is the only one just waiting there, knowing, well, you know what? Cycles are cycles. We'll, we'll be back in time. No big deal. Oh, right, and also, messages from the other side, that is, from, you know, proper Finally Shrine, they are going to show up here as well. I guess, and I think it actually works both ways. Which, I mean, time is convoluted. Okay, you can go with that. It messes with the whole this is the future idea, but, eh. Feels like a bit of an inconsistency to me. I would have preferred it if it was simply that if you if you put a message here, it's only here. If you put it in the original Firelink Shrine, it shows up here as well. And that's also true in Champion Gundyr's fight. If I go into the boss fight area for Champion Gundyr, I'll have stuff that was there for Udix Gundyr. And vice versa. Or at least... You know what, maybe, I was, maybe that's actually how it works now that I think about it. Also, there should be a sea of a giant tree. Yes, there is, which prevents invasions. Dark Souls 2 item. I'm oh, sorry, it doesn't prevent invasions. Enemies will attack dark spirits. Oh, and the door is completely barred off. Can't go up the tower. They didn't want to put in all the assets for that. Can I go up here? I might be able to. There we go. Okay, is there anything up here? Is the bird up here? Are there other secrets up here? Lizard ahead? Oh, maybe that's the... The original Firelink Shrine. Again, like I said, it, it's... Messages are not consistent in how they're portrayed. Okay, so there's something over there. But I don't want to grab that because I think there's still some Black Knights I haven't dealt with yet. Yes, I haven't. Okay. That is a fair concern that I have. And more items. Yeez. What is here, though? I don't actually recall ever going... I don't think I've ever gone up here in this side of Firelink Shrine. I mean, we went through it in the base Firelink Shrine. And it had stuff. And the bird's not there. And this is... Future Firelink Shrine. And there's nothing here either, apparently. Nope, the chest is open, because we opened it way back in episode one. So, I mean, it doesn't really do anything. Of course, now I've got to deal with that Black Knight if I want to get to that item. Maybe. We'll see. Still, though, it was worth checking. I couldn't remember if anything was there, and, well, apparently there is. So, yeah. Those last couple items are probably really important. This area is full of important items. Especially inside Firelink Shrine, as we discovered. Because, replacement for Homeward Bone. And an item that gets us to one of the game's endings. I guess it actually unlocks one of the game's endings. I cannot get the... Become, well, not Become Dark Lord. Become Dark Lord is a t much longer quest. But, basically the ending that you do of, like, kind of give up, don't link the fire, just let it fade. You can only get if you came here. And got the eyes of the Firekeeper. And did some stuff with the Firekeeper. 
And yeah, that's about it. So given that, given that this area has basically been fully explored, except for this one Black Knight that's causing me a few small problems, I'd say this is a good time to call it. So there's not much more to find here in Dark Old Firelink Shrine. So, guess that's going to be it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, enjoy stuff.